Kevin. What do you have there? A hockey puck? <laughs> no. No, hockey pucks are thinner. Um, this is a grinding cup. It's for use on the big seven inch grinders. And I was gonna talk about this. So one of the questions I get more often than, than not, really, is how do I keep my table so clean? Guys wanna know, you know, where's all the rust? You know, where's all the dents? Where's all the, where's all the destruction on the table? Well, I have a grinder. That's the big thing that helps keep it clean. The other thing is, in case you guys don't know, I live here in Phoenix, Arizona. So we only get, on average, about seven inches of rain a year. So I don't have that high humidity. So even here in the shop, you know, with things closed up, boy, if it gets over 20% humidity here, now I start whining. You know, I start going in the office and hiding. But what I normally do, you know, like after I've been MIG welding or God forbid stick welding up here on the table and I get little spatter marks on it is I'll go ahead and get the big grinder out the, the big seven inch grinder with a soft pad on it it's just real careful real easy just trying to stay just as flat as I possibly can on that on that soft pad and just nice and slow back and forth just keep my lines nice and smooth and straight and just work from one end to the other go around the other side get what i can't reach from reaching all the way across the table and that normally cleans it up just fine but on the odd occasion if i'm like out working on the outside table where it gets water sprayed on it you know that that seven inches of rain when it shows up one afternoon and that table gets wet you know and i want to go out and clean that up then I'll use a cup. And this just goes on, you know, the cup just goes on right in place of the soft pad. So you just get him out of the way and put him on there. And then you'll notice that, well, it sits pretty flat all by itself because it's brand new. It's got that nice flat surface on it where it's, you know, where it's nice and true. So all you have to do is just hold it flat, hold it straight, you know, hold it flat on the table. You just got your gear on, you grab onto it, you just go to work. Now, this is a little more sparky. It's a lot more aggressive. So if you tip it, if you dig in at all, boy, it's gonna leave a gouge. So you gotta keep that flat, straight, smooth, no pressure, just let the weight of the grinder do the work. And just sit there and just work it back and forth. It'll take off high spots, it'll take off the spatter, you know, any rust that's in the way. It'll clean that up, it'll just be slicker and all get out right there. And then, I just normally put a little WD-40 on it. You gonna show us? Well, not dressed like this. Yeah, let me get my let me get my gear on, and we'll make some sparks here, and I'll show you what it does. So you can see, just because you think the table is absolutely flat, straight, smooth, it's not, not really. <laughs> There's little dips and gaps and bumps in there. But that'll, that'll take it down, that'll get it smoother. And you can come back with a soft pad. Oh, wait, one little tip for you guys, hang on. Just like with the cup, where you've got that nice flat edge over there to work with, the same thing goes true with the soft pads. So this is a soft pad for the seven inch grinder. And as you can see, it's flat across the whole surface here. So when you're trying to grind with this, if you tip that up as you're grinding, you're gonna gouge. You're gonna leave little dips and valleys in there. You gotta try to keep that just as flat as you possibly can so it's flat against the surface that you're trying to grind on. That'll give you a nice flat surface. Of course, now this is a pad for my little four and a half inch grinder. And as you can see on this, this is actually at a little bit of an angle. So like this, that would be flat. Now as you turn that over 
and you're trying to grind with it, you're actually going to have that pad at a, the grinder at an angle like that to be using the whole surface of the grinding or the, uh, the soft pad. So depending on what machine you're using and what pad you have, that'll make a big difference in what kind of surface you get, you know, what kind of finish you get when you're trying to clean up your table. So right tool, right job, you know, right consumables for the right job. It ought to help a heck of a lot. And then the last thing I would normally do on the table outside, because it's going to be out in the weather, is I would just shoot it with a little WD-40, you know, just, just, just give it a little poof poof and just come back, come back and wipe it down just a little bit. Ew. <laughs> But just to put just the tiniest little bit of film on it, just to help protect it from the weather until you get back out there again and you're going to start working on it again. And then of course, you go through all this all over. When you're all done, you come back with a soft pad, you come back with the cup, all depends on how bad the table looks. Smooth it back off, coat it up a little, help protect it until you come back out the next time. So hopefully that gets you steered in the right direction. Oh, speaking of steering, steer yourself down towards that subscribe button. Give it a click for me. And don't forget to come find me on Facebook, Kevin Carone Artist, and see what's going on out there. I'm going to get back to work here. I'll see you guys next time. I know you perverts. Who are you calling a pervert? I was thinking it. You call me a pervert? No. Wait till we get to the bedroom, dear.